Have you ever thought about how valuable the power of connection is? Today, my good friend Jerry's here. We're getting to spend a few days together and we've had a wonderful time of gathering with women, eating food, having breakfast. And then we had a celebration service yesterday at our church. Jerry's here from Farmington, Missouri, where their church, Grace Family Outreach, is there in Park Hills, Missouri. And so uh, we're planning something in the spring for women going out to the East Coast. It's called the East Coast Women's Freedom Gathering. And we're gonna be doing that April 11th through 16th. And we invite you to come. We need, of course, a commitment to fly out there to Wilmington, but the five days will be around $300 for your lodging and a couple of meals a day. We're gonna have a, a very power packed time but as I thought about that, I thought about talking to you today about the power of connection, how valuable it is gathering. And so I'll get some of your thoughts too on that. <clears throat> what would you say? Well, <clears throat> as we were talking earlier, the times that we have been in these women's conferences or gatherings, you've called them freedom gatherings a few times, but they minister so much to the women and God has it set up already, already. God is setting it up. When you decide to go to one of these meetings, God will have a set up for you to be ministered to, to help you. And I am especially uh, remember the one that we did in New Hampshire a few years ago. But there was 22 of us that went up to New Hampshire. This meeting had been planned by um, Terry Wright and actually her husband. But yeah. Anyway, as we were there, and this is the one I think about. This happens at every conference, though. Every time women get, get together, or people, every time Christian people get together, God has a plan to strengthen you, to help you, to minister to you, to bless you. So at this particular meeting in New Hampshire, there were so many little God arrangements, and I needed ministry. My son was on drugs and had disappeared with my car, I, I could have been so distraught that I wouldn't have gone on the trip. I had bought new luggage. I was in my car. I was so excited about my new luggage. Well, that disappeared, and I had to take an old suitcase, but I went anyway. <laughs> and, uh, Which is a step of faith and courage. Amen. And that's another thing. I mean, even before we talk about these encounters I want to talk about, you know, you can't let circumstances stop you from going ahead and doing what you have planned to do, yeah. God has it ordained, but the we have an enemy of our soul, and I don't like to even talk about him, but he does enter in to your mind. Well, you can't go because of this, like you tried to do me. You can't go. You you know, your car's missing. Your son is missing. But I went anyway, and because of that, little encounters that only the Holy Spirit can set up, which I love that. Yes. You know, we can set up things, and we can make plans, but the Holy Spirit takes over with these God encounters. And I was able to, and, and just the way the Lord did it, I was in a little cafe, everyone was you know, shopping and going around this little uh, square of, of uh, unique shops and individual little shops and- Boutiques. Yeah, boutiques. I went into this little cafe and uh, one of the other women came in there too. And it was like, there was nobody else even in the whole world as we sat down at this little table. And at that particular time, I was ministering to her. She poured her heart out to me. And you would have never known there was anything wrong with her. But she poured her heart out. And I had experience in that area, so I ministered to her. And then this happened to me um, countless times. And, and just everyone there, I think, would have that um, testimony, experience of God ministering to us. Because we set ourselves aside. Yes. It's important to... Because you'll say about this gathering she's talking about in North Carolina, you'll say, oh, I don't have time, I don't have money. But we're telling you early enough that you can, you can have the money and you can have the time. If you have a little spark of interest, that's usually the Holy Spirit drawing you. Yes. And if you will take a step of faith, what I've seen over and over again, not just here, trips in the U.S., but on mission trips or, trip, or women's conferences in other countries, I've seen that step of faith just give people life breakthroughs. And I was just reflecting on that because initially, here's the thing that I've noticed. Women will, first thing you mention, it's like, 
They're threatened by other women. They've had bad experiences maybe of petty differences or weird insecurities will hinder or competition. <laughs> and if you can get past those things by yes. saying, I'm going to get over myself <laughs> that's and, right. and I'm going to go just because I want the adventure. Yes. And that's what happens. And of course, the power of God's word does not return void. And so we're going to have uh, these three guest speakers, myself, Jerry, and another, Nicole Marbach, will be speaking. And the testimonies and just the wisdom from God's word just brings release. And there's a difference than just listening to something. You know, you can benefit from listening to us online today. Mm -hmm. But there's a greater benefit. There are perks with coming together with people, worshiping yes. together. Yes. And then hearing the word. I mean, it can be so life transformational. And Amen. so I know that's going to happen. And I just thought about it. I thought, well, Jerry's here with me. We're going to talk about it. You know, it's a paradox, really, when you think how the gospel talks about go. Yes. Why did God say go? I mentioned yesterday in the service I taught at Faith Ministries, and I mentioned Clifton's, uh, some of his sayings, some of his one-liners. And one of his things was, what is it about go that you don't understand? <laughs> is it the G? G, I didn't know I was supposed to go. Or is it the O? Oh, I am supposed to go into all the world and preach the gospel. <laughs> and so, yes, we are to go. We're to be going. And from these conferences, these gatherings, this freedom gathering, you will get strength, you know, and you will get um, um, boldness to speak to people because that is what God wants us to do. We are left on the earth to speak to other people. Go into all the world and preach the gospel. So as we go to these meetings, we're strengthened and encouraged to the point that we can then speak to other people who need to hear what you know. You know, it's also getting out of the mundane, getting out of a rut, changing your perspective. I've seen when we are in the same cycle, we can't even see the forest because of the trees. So God wants you to change your perspective. You get a new lease on life. You have more gratitude and appreciation. And you'll have wisdom and reflection where you're, you're going to get some solutions and ideas and just a creative surge from God. It's just a paradox, but God said go. That's right. And I think it's to get us out of our own, uh, everything we rely on and put our trust in so heavily. When we go, we have, you know, it's like we're out on a limb. We're having to trust God. We will meet new people. We will make new friends and We'll have new breakthroughs and happenings. It's just amazing. So that's why I love being a part of it. I understand how women have had, you know, bad experiences, but uh, don't let it hold you back from new things, what God's got for you. That's right, because he has new experiences for you in this trip we're talking about right now. I remember when I was going to Brazil, Denise had planned a missionary trip to Brazil, and I signed up to go, and uh, had paid my money. I was going to go. Then again, a, a family situation. I don't know if you remember this, but I called Denise. I was crying. I said, I cannot go. I can't go on this trip. And it was another, <laughs> my, my drug addict son who is now preaching the gospel. Thank you, Lord. But it was so bad. And Denise said, no, you're going. The I Lord... Do you remember? No. You're going, Jerry. I, and she just began to pray and rebuke. And she said, you're supposed to go on this trip and you're, you're going to go. I want you to stop saying that you're not going to go. So I put my big girl panties on and, <laughs> and continued with plans to go. The enemy tried to stop my granddaughter from going. He lost her passport. But you know what? In the end, her passport came two days before we were leaving. And because we prayed and believed, and she had, had not one thing packed, I called her, I said, oh, Taylor, I've got your passport. And she said, well, Mama, I don't have, I don't have my clothes, I don't have anything ready. So we had to hurry up and do that, but her life was changed Yes. because of this trip. So, and it was foundational for her life. I remember absolutely. she got filled with the Holy Spirit. Yes, and she saw miracles and deliverances, and she was 16, my granddaughter. 
But yeah, I, I just really encourage you as you're watching this, I know there are women right now thinking, oh, I would love to do that. But again, like I said, you're going to think, because the enemy is going to put things in your mind that you can't because of this or that. But you know what? You can do all things through Christ. And this is something that's going to benefit you. It's going to benefit your family. It's going to benefit everyone around you for you to come and, and uh, just be blessed and encouraged. Yes. So be in touch with me. You can uh, reach out to me. Uh, CapraMen.com is our website. And you can also inbox me on Facebook, you know, with the private message. But uh, you'd need an initial deposit of $100. But as I said, uh, you'd have to get your own flight, of course, into Wilmington and then get uh, transportation with friends or whatever. And uh, anyway, we're really looking forward to it. It's going to be a special time of ministry and touring and sightseeing, things like that. So, uh, and the dates again? Yes, it's April 11 through 16. So it's right before Easter. And we hope you can make it. Bring a friend yes. with you. All right? Amen. Bless you.